So before we get into the room tour, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of the history of this room from start to finish. So when I first moved in, this is what the room looked like. It was a total mess, but I was putting everything together the best way I knew how. And it just slowly grew from there. I just kept playing with the different looks, experimenting with different like furniture and all that good stuff. So. I end up changing this room around like a billion times you guys like a billion times because I never felt like it was complete I always wanted to add something and take away something so you see everything is just morphing to something completely different I just was like all over the place with this room I would keep a look for maybe a month or two and then I would change it because you know I had to do it to where I felt comfortable so I just went and went and just didn't stop until I felt like the room was perfect. At this time I was an Ikea fanatic. Almost all of my furniture was from Ikea and nowadays I just hate the fact that I have some Ikea stuff in my room still like I'm still gradually replacing them with something different because I want my room to be unique I don't want it to be like every other beauty guru so here I'm just showing you the room at this particular moment in time that I did that I was really happy with it but I knew I still wasn't done so like I said I just kept going I kept changing things taking away things adding things I started getting into all of these matte displays so I went kind of crazy at one point like I just went crazy all at once buying all of these displays because I just had a fetish with the matte displays I love the look of that so I gave away my flat screen TV that I had in there because I just didn't like it anymore it was old so I gave it away and I replaced one of my book stands with the white one because I was starting to transition all my furniture into white furniture so you know I had to do that. I bought a new TV, didn't like it, put it in the book stand, gave away that other book stand and around this time is when I made my mural and I put it there instead and I really really love that look that it brought. So here is the room after I did all of that. Here's how it was looking at that moment. So of course in a makeup room, carpet is not ideal. I ruined that carpet to capacity with my makeup. It was stained everywhere. As you can see there on the floor, it was nothing but stains everywhere. So I asked my husband to go ahead and put some wood floors in, which I should have did in the beginning. But you live and you learn and I know now that I would never have carpet in my beauty room. So here is all the stuff just thrown everywhere. I mean I had a lot of stuff to take out of that room so that they can do the floors. I mean it was so messy in my house. I had my makeup stuff all over the place. So here is where they were pulling up the rug and they were laying down the floors. I was so excited, I could not wait. So here is what it looks like afterwards when I was putting everything back in. And oh my goodness, I was so in love. I love wood floors so much. And this wasn't even wood. I went the cheap route and did laminate, I think that was. It wasn't even real wood, so it wasn't expensive. So now that we went down memory lane, I am ready to show you guys the final room tour. I have since moved, so I do have a whole new brand new room. 
it looks completely different and I will be showing you guys that video soon but here we go here is the boom boom room tour okay finally we're getting into this video so here's the door to my makeup boom boom room and here is the overview I really really love this space I love that I have a room that's just strictly dedicated to glam only and I think every girl should have a room like this in their house <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and dive right in so we're gonna start on this side of the room I'm gonna start with the vanity area most of the furniture stuff here are from Ikea I know I know almost all beauty gurus have this setup and I'm changing it up for my new room I promise you guys will love it so here is the section where I have my brushes and I have an array of brushes I love the brush holder that I have I had this made so I will leave um, more information on that later on but here are the brushes I have real techniques makeup forever Sigma it cosmetics um, artiste brushes, NARS, uh, it's just a whole bunch of different ones, some from eBay, and as this side here is nothing but MAC. I have a whole side dedicated to MAC. And yeah, that's about the gist of my brushes. I do have more brushes tucked away, but these are the ones that I have on display. Now right under that I have another Ikea drawer, I forgot what this one is called, but I keep some of my highlighters in there, here are some of my blushes, some lashes, and some liquid lipsticks. Also regular lipsticks down there. So I almost forgot to tell you guys a little bit about the storage ideas in here. I got these little ice cube containers from Bed Bath & Beyond and I just used it to put my liquid lipsticks and lip glosses in them and they just work perfectly. I love the look. These next few drawers are drawers that I custom made using foam board. So I just took my time, cut them all out and glued them together the way that I want them and stuck it in there. So that's a really quick DIY and I did do a video on that. I'll leave it right here and you can see how to do this. Now next to that I have a bag full of like um, retail bags that I got from makeup stores. And I keep that there for when I have company and I have makeup and beauty products to give away. I'll just go ahead and make them a little goodie bag and yeah that's what I use that for. Now on top of my vanity I have a little... Um, acrylic drawer and I got this from I think Amazon or eBay one of those and I just love the way it looks on my vanity here's what's on top just some randomness stuff that I reach for every day to do my makeup I'm not gonna go through the drawers because I'm gonna save that for a makeup collection video but let's get on with it so here is my vanity mirror I got it from vanity girl um, here's what I have on top of the vanity mirror and that's from Ikea and I just have an array of things uh, here is my makeup brushes and some little makeup knickknacks that I keep up there the chair I got from Ikea also and here is my everyday makeup the makeup that I reach for the most my holy grail my favorites my everything and you can just take a look at that we don't even have to say the names of these things because they're so clear um here are some custom made palettes that i put together with eyeshadows and blushes and yeah that is my everyday drawer so on top of this Alex drawer, I have a camera, which is one of those Insta cameras. I love whipping out this camera when my friends are around so I can just capture the moment. I have these little macaroon trinkets that I got from eBay that you can just put little knickknacks in like jewelry or whatever. Here I have a, I forgot what you call that, I think it's called iHome. And it's a boom box for like your iPods and um, iPhones and stuff. I have another little fake beats pill up there <laughs> and yeah that's what I have on top of my Alex drawer. So moving on behind the door when you walk in you see this little nail polish rack and I just have a whole bunch of nail polishes in there. The one below it I just put makeup in it so you can use that for makeup or nail polish. Below it I have my little board, my mirror and my little stand with some of my perfumes on it. 
I got that stand from um, Amazon. I got the mirror from Ikea. And here is my china cabinet. I got this from my mother. It was like a brown oak color, but I painted it white and put makeup and stuff inside of it. So usually you would have like your china sets and all that, but you know I'm different. I had to throw in some makeup. So that's what we have here. And I did redo the knobs and everything. So here's another little display that I got made for my lipsticks. And this one here is from MAC, one of their old displays. And up here I have all of my Christian Louboutin uh, nail polishes. And I think it looks so well there. I have a little Louboutin bag there, some lip glosses and more of the nail polishes. Here I have my collection of Moschino or Machino. And under that I have my Christian Louboutin lipsticks. So right next to that I have my little computer area and I really really love sitting at that desk. I love the colors, I love the mirror effect and everything is just going so well with the room. So here is a mirror that I had made. I just made it on my computer and had it sit in to make a canvas out of it and I just put some of my favorite brands on it and I went and you know glued a whole bunch of 3d things on it like some mascara some flowers some makeup I even did some rhinestones and studs I just went all out with this thing because I wanted it to be a reflection of my personality and I think I really captured that it's so flamboyant gaudy and out there and girly I just I love it so much it came out better than I imagined so that's what I put there and right under that I have my computer desk and of course my computer is from Mac, one of the old ones, I haven't upgraded yet. And the computer stand I got from Amazon, a lot of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby and Amazon and eBay. And of course you gotta have your candle to make your room smell really nice. I got these little pencils from Ross. The chair I got from Amazon and the little faux fur I got from Walmart and I just threw it on there. Now here's another faux fur that I got from eBay and this is, I think it was fox fur? No, it's not fox fur. I forgot what it was. Some kind of sheep fur or something and it's really soft. I love it. And here's a project that I did. It was like a regular mirror and I painted it and put some flowers on it just to add some decoration to my room. I really, really love this DIY project. If you would like to see me do another one like this, make sure you leave a comment below and I'll try to get that out for you. But here is one of my little Ikea stands and I think this is called the Billy bookshelf and that's just where I keep a lot of my um, jewelry I have my earrings my necklaces my bracelets all of that stuff in there uh, a lot of these displays are from eBay some of them are from uh, uh, Ross and yes I love the way this is displayed I think it's very functional and it shows everything that you have now this is how I store my necklaces I put it on the border of my wall I don't really like it anymore I don't find it practical because I can't really reach it when I want it but that's how I did it so here I have my IKEA pack system organization, I think that's what it's called. I'll leave a link to it down below where you can design your own little system. And I just have an array of things. I got this little candy jar from eBay and I filled it up with candy. I have this little tea set also from eBay. Um, basically almost all of this stuff is from eBay. These brushes are a Sigma and Real Technique and I have some eBay brushes inside of that glass one. Uh, this little acrylic drawer is a, um, I forgot what you call this one, emoji, so, I can't even get the word out, but you guys probably know what this is, but that is like the original, like, um, acrylic drawer that was out, and I purchased it. Behind it is another DIY project that I did. It was a little mirror I painted and put flowers. And that little thing back there is like a little a frame thingy that I got from Ross to hang up. But it's just sitting back there in the, you know, back of the little stash area here. 
So now I'm going to show you a sneak peek of my makeup collection. Like I said, these are the extra brushes that I have. And this just came with the system that I bought, the little dividers. And these dividers I got from eBay, the little circle ones. These are just like some, um, what do you call them, uh, poker chip organization things and right here I got these little acrylic drawers from eBay and I just put a bunch of makeup inside of it this drawer holds some of my palettes and this one has a lot of my lip pencils and eye pencils and just an array of my makeup collection here now this one here has most of my MAC displays in it. I get a lot of questions about these displays. I get most of them from eBay. Some I got from just people contacting me saying that they have some for sale. And that's about the gist of how I get my little displays. So I have the lip gloss one, the nail polish one, and of course it's double sided. And I just keep my nail polishes in there from MAC. And right on the other side, I have my Pro Long Wear one, and I just keep my LA Girl concealers in there along with some Makeup Forever ones. On the other side, I have a compact one. I think this is a mineralizer compact one, and I just have my MAC ones in there. And I got this little crown from Hobby Lobby, and I put some flowers in it. Right underneath, I have my blush display and my lipstick display. I always get questioned on if I leave my stuff open like this all the time and yes I do these are always open but I never use them they're strictly for display purposes only just to look at because I love them and of course this pulls out so that I can have better access to them these clear tops on the lipsticks are from the beauty box uh, here is the third level and this one has three more of my displays and I of course they'll stay open but I never use them right underneath I have some of my sunglasses and some little junk drawers the last drawer down there has a lot of my uh, candles inside this is my like fall candles it has like a lot of pumpkin smells and that is just what's down there and the boxes to my sunglasses are down there so here's another overview of the room that is like the gist of it. I think we've gone through everything. If I've missed any of you guys' questions, leave it in the comment section below and I will be sure to answer it. So here's what it looks like at night when I turn all the lights on. I just love the feel of this. It makes me feel like I'm in a wonderland. I love it so much. The lights that are on my IKEA displays are from eBay. I'll leave it linked down below. And the lights that are on my computer, I forgot where I got that from, but I will try to leave it down below if I figure it out. But yes, that's basically how it looks at night. I can change the colors if I want, but basically those are the colors that I use. Here is the rain light that I bought online. I don't have the link to that, but if I figure it out, it will be down there. So thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. And here we go.